back to RBR. In today's video, we're going to show you guys how to vent your tires. This should be a really quick video. The only tools that you're going to need are a drill, a small pair of pliers, and a 1 16th drill or a 5 64 doesn't have to be that big, it needs to be kind of small. Uh, Traxxas, if you go to Traxxas' website, they'll actually show you how to vent your tires. And what they use is they use cutting scissors. And all you're doing is you're making a small incision in a V-shape, I believe it's a V-shape, in the center of your tread. And then you're gonna do it 180 degrees from that. So if you can see it right here, you're gonna make an incision in the center of the tread and at 180 degrees on the opposite side on all four tires. What that's going to help you do is if you're driving in wet conditions, that's going to help let water escape from your tire. Because when you get a, when you get water in your tire, let's say you forget to tape up your vent holes, that's going to throw the tire off balance and it does put wear on the suspension and prematurely wears out your tires. And if you all know, these, these tires are not cheap. Uh, the reason why I did them on my Max was when we did our first bashing video, we actually got sand in the tires because we were not thinking. We were just too excited to run these cars and we didn't tape up the vent holes and we got sand on the tire. Uh, I did this to mine already and right off the bat, I was barely going half throttle and you can see little particles of sand flicking out of the tire. Uh, I did notice on some smaller jumps doing backflips the tires were no longer off balance they were actually a lot smoother and they weren't shaking a whole lot. So what we're going to do on red leaders is we're going to show you guys how to vent them. And you're not going to make the hole too big. You don't need it that big. Try and get you guys a good angle here. All right, guys, I'm gonna do my best not to block the camera. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna pinch the tire and right about here, just anywhere in between the two blocks, you're gonna to wanna to drill, but you're gonna to wanna to pinch the tire because you don't wanna hit the foam. You don't wanna pull that foam out when you're doing it. So you wanna go slow. That's it. You're not going to want to go deep. Once that's done, pinch the hole again. And you want to try and get that extra piece. Extra piece of rubber that's right on top. Out. It's just a little piece, a little, a little flat. And that's really it. You're gonna hold it, and you're gonna go 180, and do it on the other one. This one actually did a little better. Sometimes once you get the hole started, you can go a little faster. And there you go, you just take up that top piece, and that's it. Sorry about that guys, uh, for some reason the camera cut out. But yeah, let's see if we have any sand in this tire. So we're gonna put it right over the mat here. Give the tire a couple of squeezes. Rotate it. And I don't know if you can see that. You should be able to see that. That's a, that's a lot of sand coming out of the tire. A couple of good chunks too. So it doesn't take much. Uh, run this car for a little bit. Uh, I'd say half throttle up and down, you know, just, just a straight road. And that should fling a lot of the sand out. And over time with jumps and going off road, uh, most of that, most of that's going to come out. It's not going to cause a problem with the tire. You don't, don't have to worry about your tire falling apart. You're just putting small holes in the tread and, and that's it. Don't worry about water. Water can't get in if, if you're driving it. That doesn't make any sense. The only time water would get in is obviously if you're driving in, in the rain and you stop in a puddle and let it sit. But that's also the reason for the holes because once you start driving again, this is gonna help let that water escape while you're driving. So I wish I would have done this sooner. Uh, 
would have had a lot more fun bashing mine. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do these to the other three. It's really simple. I'll go ahead and do it one more. Just so you guys can see it. Try and do it from this angle. And you're just gonna squeeze the tire. Just like that. That way you, you don't hit the foam. You don't wanna pull the foam up. That's it. This one, I actually don't need to pull anything out. It's a nice, nice small little hole right there. Like I said, you're gonna wanna hold it. Go 180 degrees. That's it. Let's see if there's any in this one. Oh, wow. You see that? Look at all that sand come out. Oh, wow. I really wish we would have vented these. There you go. There's all that sand. All right. Well, I hope you guys can see me. Uh, but yeah, that's it. It's actually a, a really, really simple process. I would definitely do that to your tires. If you haven't done them and you haven't ran your car yet in sand, I would definitely recommend making sure you tape up those vent holes so you don't have this issue. I don't like running in the sand just because of where that sand goes. It gets everywhere. We took the front and rear diff out and there was piles of sand under the bulkheads. So we had to make sure we got all that cleaned out before we ran the cars again, because that sand is really gritty and it'll tear your bearings up. So it's a good idea to make sure you, after you run the sand, if that's something you like to do, just make sure you give it a really good cleaning when you're done. That does take a lot of time, but man, running in the sand is fun. These things fly. We really want to try some paddle tires. Uh, those look a lot of fun and these things are really fast. I probably won't put mine in water. I see a lot of people drive on lakes. I just, I, I'd just be too afraid to do that. But anyways, hope you guys found this video informational. Uh, if you guys have any comments, uh, need any help, just you know, let us know. And we'll make another video if there's something else you guys wanna see. So anyways, thank you for watching and we'll see you on the next one.